Hi Virgo viewers, so for those of you that are drawn to this channel, you guys know that collectively I've been getting the energy for the majority of you that you have new love that's either just come in or new love that's coming in. It's a really strong collective energy. I feel like your guides have just kind of decided enough is enough and they want you to have someone that's going to match your energy and be there for you and be consistent with you. Um, even if that wasn't the original plan. So that's the energy I've been getting a lot for those of you that are drawn to this channel. And I feel like somebody is having some deep regrets right now. Somebody is realizing how much they mess things up. I feel like this is the case of someone wanting you for a long time. And then once they actually have you, they sabotage it. Like, I feel like this is somebody who's kind of secretive, somebody who maybe hides their feelings a lot, somebody who just kind of observes and watches people, but maybe is a little bit introverted or maybe doesn't interact too much. Like, they just kind of like to feel people out. I feel like this is somebody who wanted you for a long time, but they maybe never verbalized it or maybe didn't, didn't make themselves clear. And... I think there's two different stories here. So for some of you, this is the new love interest. For some of you, this is... I don't know why my camera is doing that. Sorry. For some of you, this is... You know, we have new love, faded encounter here. And then we have courage, assertiveness, motivation, and forward movement with willpower, strength, and confidence. So I feel like there's two different stories here. For some of you... I think that this is this new love interest that maybe was watching you for a long time. It could be like a coworker or just somebody who noticed you. And now that they actually have you, it's like they're sabotaging it. Like they don't fully know how to be in a relationship. For a lot of you though, I feel like this is probably, you probably have just met somebody else or you're probably meeting somebody else in the near future. And... This other person is, you know, maybe going to come back around with an apology or a regret. But, you know, the path is yours. I personally would go with the new love. I'd go with the person that's treating, treating me the best and, you know, matching my energy the most. But, you know, what I get here is you've got some kind of faded encounter here. Some kind of new love type energy here. Someone who's courageous and assertive. Um, let's see. I think through your own willpower and your own strength and confidence, you've kind of just manifested this. Like you're meeting somebody who's who's matching this fiery type of energy that you have going on with going on right now. And we've got divine intervention and synchronicity. So I think that this new love is a divinely guided connection. I really do. I think that this is something that your guides planned out for you. I think this is something your guides want you to have. I think this is somebody who... Like, you need somebody who's strong and confident and assertive, I feel. And I think in the past, you kind of met people that were, like, dominant in negative ways. Like, they, you know, you wanted somebody who has more of, like, a feminine-masculine balance. And I think in the past, maybe the people you dated just didn't really have that balance. It's like they were either, they are on one side or the other of the extremes. But I think that you're finally have just manifested or you, you are manifesting somebody who's going to be courageous and assertive and, you know, genuinely confident and have a strong will. And they're actually going to, to go about it in a healthy way. Like they're not going to be controlling or possessive. Like this is like a genuine, um, genuine alpha male or genuine, like, you know, strong female type energy here. Uh... There might be some confusion and uncertainty. Let me see here. Oh, my camera keeps doing that. I do get the sense of, like, some confusion and uncertainty, though. Maybe not fully used to that energy, perhaps. I do feel like this is divinely guided, though. I just get the sense, so again, I think it's going to be different for all of you. I think some of you, this is the new person, and some of you, this is like you're meeting the new person, and they're matching your energy more, and they're giving you that assertiveness and that confidence and strength that you want, but they're doing it in like a, in a healthy way. Like they're just matching your energy, and they're not trying to control you or 
trying to, you know, do anything negative towards you. People always say, like, there's always, there's so much negative association with the term alpha male, but, like, what I always tell people is that genuine alpha males are rare. You know what I mean? Like, you have a lot of men pretending to be alpha males. You have a lot of really insecure, timid, um, controlling, toxic men, you know, trying to pretend like they're all that, like they're all that, like they've got it together. Um, but you know, their insecurities come out sooner or later. But what you have here with this new love is like a genuine alpha male. It's somebody who's already confident and they know what they want and they're assertive and they're, they don't need to control you. They don't need to manipulate you. They don't need to play games. Like they just are who they are take it or leave it. They know what they want. If they can't get what they want, then, you know, on to the next thing. You know, it's like they, they already know themselves well. So that's like a genuine alpha male is somebody who's really genuinely confident and not just faking confidence. You know what I mean? Like, I think with the assertive people that you dated in the past, I think you can kind of tell that they weren't genuine alpha males because that control and that insecurity and that negativity came creeping out even though they tried to put on this false mask of you know pretending to be genuinely confident so so yeah this this person is actually confident this person this is a different kind of energy and I think once you're with them you're going to understand that energy difference and we have make your move green light here there there there's mutual feelings here there's emotional depth there's potential here but again I do see this other energy here domination and control apology and regret so I kind of feel like this is somebody from your past who's going to try to come back around um I mean I think you're going to be I think you're going to be with this new person like you either already are or you're meeting them soon I feel and then I think this other person from your past is going to try to come back around because it's like they don't have control over you anymore they're going to want that you know to dominate you again and they might be coming through with like this apology and this regret and I think with this person I kind of feel like they just loved you so much and they wanted you for so long that it like overwhelmed them and when they finally got you or you guys finally talked or like it just finally went somewhere I feel like they just sabotaged everything like they just wanted to control things and never let you go um Because we have mental instability and anger and miscommunication here. So I feel like this is somebody who like lashed out at you or they were just mentally unstable, maybe ghosted you or they just miscommunicated. They were angry. They were just negative towards you in some ways. And they're wanting to come back forward with an apology and regret and tell you, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just so afraid of losing you that like I, I just wanted to cling on to you and not let you go. I'm sorry I was dominant and controlling and they're wanting to come forward with, you know, loyalty and stability and, and vows and, you know, promising that they're not going to do that in the future and, and, you know, making these amends basically and making these, these promises to you and trying to be more stable and more, more healthy in this connection. But I don't know if you're going to want it, honestly, because you have this other energy here, this new love that's like the best of both worlds. You know what I mean? Like they're strong and they're courageous and they're assertive, but it's genuine with this other person. You know what I mean? Like they're not going to try to control you. They're going to want you to have your freedom. And I think that's important to you is having that freedom and independence in your relationship, you know? Like, they're going to match. See, this is like a power couple right here. It's like they're going to match your energy. You're not going to have to tone it down for them. Your energy is not going to intimidate them. You know what I mean? Like, this is this other energy is somebody who is pretending to be an alpha male or female, and they just weren't. They were just, you know, you, you thought they were confident at first, and then as you got to know them, you realized that they were really just insecure, and they were just hiding their insecurities from you. And they're really actually a controlling negative person. 
and they really don't have it together here. They really, they really don't. They're a very angry, angry person deep down too. But yeah, they are probably going to come back for trying to promise you that they'll do things different this time. Yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. But again, you've got this new love that's either just come in or coming in. So I think my personal advice would be to wait for that instead and not go back to the person who's, you know, got the potential to be abusive. So if this resonates, uh, please go ahead and subscribe. And I do paid private readings if you're interested. My email is below. Thank you.